Hey coach, sorry I cannot be at your going away party. You know I could if I would. I want to thank you for four amazing years of being my coach. I know you have made an impact not only on my life, but on all the girls who you've coached in the previous years. You have been more than just a coach to me. You've been like a second mother. Uh, you have pushed me, you have encouraged me, you have believed in me even when I didn't believe in myself. And I remember after state my senior year not getting the results I hoped I would get. And I was saying I was going to quit. And I remember you asking me, have you accomplished all that you hope to accomplish in your track career? If so, then go ahead and quit. If not, well, you can see where I'm at. Even though, you know, I rep LSU, you know, love having those three letters on my chest. I will never forget where I came from, Rocktown. So, the best way I know how to thank you is by doing what I do best, making a video. So enjoy, um, wish you the best in everything, and I love you. Family, it feels like a big family, and it just feels like a lot of love because we all have each other's backs, and we're always making each other laugh, and there's never really any drama between mm -hmm. us, and I think um, when we all push each other and um, motivate each other, it really um, helps in our performances, and we're, um, we're always just trying to have fun and um, have a good laugh, and I think that's what really brings us together. How have you matured or evolved, so to speak? Um, I was in the scrub. <laughs> last year, your four last, your four last last, I was a scrub. And I, I liked not being a scrub because uh, I felt like I was riding the pine. Okay, um, we've all heard the song by TLC Scrub. I don't want no scrub, is Did you want me to sing it? No, but um... <laughs> What exactly do you mean by a uh, scrub? A scrub is a girl that never runs. <laughs> this moment, I feel so vulnerable and so empowered. It's everything is nothing is perfect. Oh, I
just like to say that, um, you know, we can only try our best. We can only, that's, that's the only thing that we can do. We can only try our best and hope that we get the W. Um, honestly, listen to your coaches because they know best. They, they know what is right, even when you don't think that they know. I mean, even when you disagree with them. I mean, yes, share your thoughts, but the coaches know what is right. For the, for, you know, the people who still have a journey, you know, one, two, three more years, four more years, you know, in this track season. Honestly, work hard. Don't give up on your, do not give up on yourself. Because freshman, sophomore year, I could have quit. I could have been like, you know what? I'm done. It's over. I'm done. I quit. Whatever. But you know, it's the role models, the upperclassmen that, that really helps me get through this. My teammates, they really helped me. You know, they pushed me to be, be a better, be a better athlete, be a better person overall. So just the advice that I give to to the younger generation, you know, the next generation that's coming up in track, is to just work hard and to listen, just listen to your leaders because they know, they know what's best. But you know, this being my last banquet, my last, sorry, this is my last um, year in track. I can just say that I am very, 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 um, it's happy it's <laughs> <laughs> that I was on a team, such as this one, wouldn't have traded it for the world.